This is Jerry DePaula, and this is the Trib One Minute Pit Football Update for Saturday, January the 9th. Well, since uh, we, we last met uh, several weeks ago uh, doing one of these videos, a lot of things have happened at Pitt, a lot of comings, a lot of goings. Uh, Pitt lost six players off its roster uh, from last season. Kids who are going to transfer, uh, including Jamal Davis, a linebacker who might have had a chance to play next season. Of course, backup quarterback Chad Voitick uh, is a big loss, in my opinion, uh, because Pitt really doesn't have much behind him. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, the recruit, the freshman recruit, Thomas McVitty, and uh, take the backup job and run with it. Uh, although he'll have competition, of course, from Ben DiNucci and Adam Berkey in training camp. Uh, meanwhile, uh, of course, Pitt lost uh, all ACC wide receiver Tyler Boyd, which is probably the biggest loss of all. Uh, they got to find some receivers, you know, to uh, fill that void uh, that Boyd is leaving. Uh, they, they couldn't re find a compliment for Boyd the last two years. Now they got to find another Boyd. Uh, maybe Juwan Winfrey, the uh, junior college transfer, uh, might have an opportunity to do that. He played at Maryland two years, two seasons ago, and did all right, except when he wasn't getting suspended. Um, the other um, possibility is, is going to be um, uh, Maurice French from New Jersey. He had a nice high school season for his high school in New Jersey. Um, and um, Ruben Flowers you know, from Ohio, four-star, four-star wide receiver, uh, could have a chance to contribute this year. Uh, the pitch recruiting class now stands at 19. Uh, they have room for a few more. They would love to get Damar Hamlin from Central Catholic, the defensive back, and Cleek Hudson from McKeesport, the outside linebacker, but they got competition. Uh, Pitt, Penn State, and Ohio State are in on Hamlin right now, big time. And uh, Michigan, UCLA, Pitt, and Penn State are in on Hudson. Uh, if Pitt could get one of those two, uh, just one of those two, I think it's going to be a pretty good recruiting class uh, for Pat Narduzzi. And I, and I really think Pitt fans are going to like George Hill. He had a four-star defensive back from Lima, Ohio. Uh, big six-foot kid has played running back and defensive back. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to him. Pitt has people running back right now. Uh, you know they're they're hoping you know uh, you know God willing that uh, James Conner comes back uh, next season after his chemo treatments are finished. And of course, Kadri Olson, ACC Offensive Rookie of the Year, he was only a redshirt freshman this year. So there's room for hope. There's reason for hope uh, at Pitt. Um, one, one thing that the Pat Narduzzi did yesterday, he finally hired an offensive coordinator. Uh, he got a guy he's worked with before, Matt Canada, uh, who was at North Carolina State the last three years. He worked with Canada uh, a couple years uh, back in the, uh, about a decade and a half ago at Northern Illinois, and the two are good friends. In fact, Narduzzi said he wanted to hire him last year when he, when he was building his first uh, coaching staff at Pitt, but uh, Canada was uh, contractually obligated to NC State, so he ended up with Jim Chaney. I think he might have a little more rapport with Canada than he had with Cheney. Uh, Cheney did a nice job, and there was no problems between the two. Uh, but I don't think that uh, Narduzzi liked the fact that, that he was out of here in one year. Uh, it looked like, uh, even though he denied it during the season, before the season, Cheney looked like he wanted to get back to the SEC, and now he's at Georgia. Okay, there's a lot of uh, two weeks to go, but three weeks to go before signing day. Uh, Hudson and Hamlin are still out there. Those are the two targets. Uh, Pitt will be working on over the next two weeks, and we'll have uh, uh, we'll keep following things uh, through through the next couple of weeks. Uh, planning day is first Wednesday in February, and uh, follow follow my blog on the college, Pitt College Football blog on triplive.com, and of course we'll have uh, uh, breaking stories on Pitt on Pitt football, you know, through uh, the month of January and February, and then we'll start. Uh, we start spring practice sometime in March, so only, only two months away before that. All right, this is uh, Jerry DePaula. Uh, thank you for listening. This is the Trib One Minute Pit Football Update. I guess this time it was a four-minute update.